So, every in every connective tissue there will be presence of all of these three components. There will be glycosamine glycans, there will be proteoglycans and there will be glycoproteins also. Right. So, what are glycose? I mean glycans, these are unbranched polysaccharides. Very simply, we say that these are unbranched and it means there is no branch of these uh, polymers, right? Unbranched, uh, we can say unbranched polysaccharides. So, why polysaccharides? Because there are many sugars combined together. So, these are called unbranched polysaccharides. So, look glycosamine glycans. So, I told you they are carbohydrates. So, we say they are polysaccharides. It means there are many and many monosaccharide units united together, right? We say they are made up of repeating units of disaccharides, right? They are made of repeating, I will draw the structure, do not worry, repeating units of disaccharides. So, disaccharide, 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 they are repeated, repeated, repeated and they make polysaccharides. So, you will see, inshallah, I will draw the diagram. So, they are made up of repeating units of disaccharides and those disaccharides which are present are NAG, NAGA, it means NAGA, right. So, NAGA stands for n acetyl galactosamine right n acetyl glucose amine n acetyl glucose amine right in the ground substance the gags which are the disaccharides repeating disaccharides the first one is the naga right and the second one is n acetyl galactose amine right again that is naga right but we say n acetyl galactose amine right these two disaccharides are repeated many and many and many times so we say they make polymers which are called polysaccharides right and these polysaccharides are connected to a core proteins right so we say which disaccharide units are repeated many times in glycosamine glycans or GAGs, they are the N acetyl glucosamine and N acetyl galactose amine, and these are linked by core protein. They are linked by core protein. Core protein means central protein molecule, and I will draw the diagram. Don't worry. Now, let us see the uh, let us draw the diagram very simply. Look carefully. For example, this is a core protein, right. This is a core protein. To this core protein, these disaccharide units are attached like this. Naga, 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 Naga. So, these are the, what is this? Very simply, this is the GAG molecule. This is the um, uh, structure which we can see from lateral side. Now, I will draw a, uh, a structure which we can see from interior side, from this side. Now, it will appear like this. So, this is the core protein, right? And to this core protein, there is the attachment of what are these? These are the disaccharide units are attached to this core protein. So, it is a long core protein, right? To this core protein, there is the attachment of these disaccharide units. Right, so they make a polymeric long molecule. This is called the GAG. So you can see in this here, in the matrix of this connective tissue, there is the presence of GAGs, and they are linked. They are uh, composed of repeating units of disaccharides, which are which are unbranched uh, polysaccharides, and they contain a core protein inside. And to this protein, there are the attachment of these disaccharide units. So they make a star-shaped long polymer. So if you make a connection here and like this and like this. So, there, there will be a central core protein and then there are the attachment of these disaccharides to it. So, we say they are arranged like this, right. Then we say there are some classes of these uh, uh, glycosamine glycans, right. 
there are some classes of these G edges and what are those classes? The first one is hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, this is a class of G edges, right? Then there is another class which is called chondriton sulfate, right? Chondriton sulfate, right? What are these? These are these G edges, different types of G edges, right? So, chondriton sulfate, hyaluronic acid, then the third class we say there is dermatone sulfate which is present in your skin, right? Dermatone sulfate is there, then there is another class which is called heparon sulfate, heparon sulfate, right? These are the classes and then there is another class which is called keratone sulfate. Keraton sulfate. So, if, if someone asks that in a connective tissue, what is the composition of GAG? So, first of all, the dopamine glycans are unbranched polysaccharides which are present in the ground substance of the connective tissue very simply. Then they are made up of repeating units of disaccharides and what are those disaccharides? Naga and Naga, N acetyl glucosamine and N acetyl galactose amine, right. Then they are linked by a core protein that simple, right? And what are the classes of the GIGs? They are hyaluronic acid, the chondriton sulfate, dermatone sulfate, right? And then the heparon sulfate and keratone sulfate, these are the classes of the GIGs, right? So, it is a very simple introduction of GIGs which is present in this matrix, right? So, in the matrix or the ground substance, there must be GIGs and now you know only 5 percent or 1 percent about GIGs and its composition, right. Now, let us go for proteoglycans. What are proteoglycans? Look carefully friends. When, look this is one molecule of GAG, right. When many molecules, right, when many GAGs are connected together, they make proteoglycans, proteoglycans. So, I will write here many GAGs, GAGs glycosamine, glycans, what connected to a core protein, right? Many GAGs connected to a core protein, right? Such structure will be called as the proteoglycans. So, you must remember that in a proteoglycan, what is there? In the proteoglycan, there are many GAGs, glycosamine glycans are connected with each other and they make proteoglycans, right. So, in the in the matrix, there may be single right, glycosamine glycans and there can be branches and connections of glycosamine glycans which are called the proteoglycans. Right. So, proteoglycans are nothing but many GAGs are connected to a core protein that is called the proteoglycans. I am very, very simply introducing these, right. Then there is the glycoproteins and what are glycoproteins? Glyco, there, there are two words, glyco means carbohydrate and proteins means proteins, right. So, what are these? These are carbohydrate, carbohydrates united with proteins, right? And I will discuss about its classes, do not worry. So, these are called the glycoproteins and these glycoproteins are present where? Look carefully. I will draw a diagram here. This is a cell, right? And outside this cell, there is the extracellular matrix, you know. And this extracellular matrix, you know, there is GAGs, there are proteoglycans and there are glycoproteins and these glycoproteins are the proteins and carbohydrates which are connecting the inside of the cell to the extracellular matrix like this, right. So, this is a glycoprotein molecule, look carefully. It is attached to inside of the cell, right, to the cytoskeleton, right, and then there is a protein component of it and then there is again another carbohydrate component which connects the internal cytoskeleton to the extracellular matrix ground substance. So, such type of molecules are called the 
glycoprotein molecules and these glycoprotein molecules are actually present in the cell membranes right and they are connecting the inside of the cell to the outside of the cell or we say the inside uh, uh, present the cytoskeleton right to outside what to outside extracellular matrix proteins and carbohydrates dreads right so these are called the glycoproteins and some classes of these glycoproteins are fibronectin right we can find fibronectin what is fibronectin it is a glycoprotein right then there are the plasma nectins right we say these fibronectins may be of two classes one may be cell surface fibronectins and other may be plasma fibronectin so let me write also them we will uh, write it there is cell surface fibronectin molecules or proteins right glycoproteins and then there are the plasma fibronectin right so what is fibronectin fibronectin is a glycoprotein and what is cell surface fibronectin so the you can say these are the cell surface fibro nectins right so the ground substance is composed of GAGs the proteoglycans and the glycoproteins those are example of glycoproteins are fibronectin then the second example of fibronectin that we have already discussed in epithelial tissue that is the laminin protein right laminin and about laminin I have already discussed what is laminin then there is another class which is called the intactin and this intactin is also discussed in the lecture on the basement membrane that I have already showed in the previous lectures while I was, I was discussing about epithelial tissues the structures which are present in the bas basal side of the cells so intactin and laminin were discussed there then there is another uh, type of this, this glycoprotein which is called the uh, chondronectin chondronectin and this chondronectin you know is present in the uh, cartilage right and then there is another type of glycoprotein which is called osteonectin and this osteonectin is a type of glycoprotein which is connected to for example this is a fibronectin uh, osteonectin sorry and this osteonectin is a uh, glycoprotein and when it is present in the bone so this is surrounded by calcium and uh, other substances so calcium and other substances are present around it and they provide very hard structural integrity to the bone so they are present in the bone right now friends this is uh, this was a very simplest introduction to the ground substance of the connective tissue let us again repeat our lecture what is connective tissue connective tissue is a type of tissue which is uh, providing structural and functional support to other tissues of the body and that I have given already the uh, example right so you just remember that anywhere in your body there are other tissues there must be the presence of connective tissue then we discussed about structure uh, we say that what is the composition of the uh, uh, what connective tissue so a very small piece of connective tissue that we took from here and we have enlarged it and we saw that this tissue is composed of cells I will discuss about the cells the next in the next lecture then we say this uh, uh, outside these cells there are a matrix which is called ground substance or we call it extracellular matrix and then there are fibers present inside the cell and I will discuss about these fibers also right then we started discussing about the ground substance so the grass, ground substance also known as extracellular matrix and this extracellular matrix is composed of these three important components the GAGs, the proteoglycans and the glycoproteins and what are the GAGs you saw here proteoglycans and glycoproteins these are the substances which you can find in the matrix of a connective tissue and then we will discuss every type of connective tissue in big different different lectures inshallah in the next coming lectures so friends this was introduction in the next lecture I will discuss about the cells and then we will discuss about the fibers of the connective tissue and then we will slowly go and discuss every type of connective tissue in detail inshallah. See you guys in the next lecture.